This is solving equations containing rational expressions. Section 7.5 Intermediate Algebra To solve an expression er, to solve an equation with a rational expression, we have three steps that we're going to follow. First of all, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator of all the rational expressions in the equation. Second, we're going to solve the resulting equation. Finally, we're going to check the solution in the original equation. So if we have a variable in the denominator, it's possible that our denominator could be zero. And so if replacing our x or whatever variable with, with the solution we got gives us zero in the denominator, we have to discard that. And that's often referred to as an extraneous solution. All right, let's look at an example of just a really simple equation that you may have seen in elementary algebra. 4x minus 5 minus 8 is equal to x. Remember our first step is to find the least common denominator. In this case our least common denominator is just 5. And so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. Oops. Well, every term gets multiplied by 5, so we'll just do it that way. 5 times 4x over 5 is just 4x. 5 times 8 is 40. And of course we get 5x. We have to get all of our x's together on one side of the equation. So we'll subtract 4x from both sides. And we're left with negative 40 is equal to x. Well, when we check it, negative 40 is not going to be a problem because we don't have an x in the denominator ever. Not sure why I'm losing my negatives here. But we're going to replace x with negative 40 everywhere it shows up. 4 times negative 40 is negative 160. We divide negative 160 by 5. We're going to get, let's see, 5 into, fifth, 5 into 16. It's going to divide 3 times with 1 left over. So we get negative 32 minus 8 is indeed negative 40. So that works. And our solution to this equation is negative 40. All right. Let's look at a slightly more complicated equation. This one's considerably more complicated. x plus 10 over x minus 5 is equal to 9 over 5 minus x. So let's solve this. Well, in this case, our two denominators are x minus 5 and 5 minus x. Now that's actually the same thing, or those are actually opposites. So we can just use x minus 5 as our least common denominator. And we're going to multiply both sides of that equation by x minus 5. Now you might want to think of x minus 5 as being over 1. Now, this binomial will cancel out that binomial. That leaves us with x plus 10 over 1, but we don't need to write the 1. On the right-hand side of the equation, x minus 5 and 5 minus x are actually opposites. So those multiply out to give us negative 1. And then 9 times negative 1 gives us negative 9. Now let's subtract 10 from both sides to find out what x is. Well. It looks like x is going to be negative 19. Now, at the very least, we should check to make sure that if we replace x with negative 19, we do not get a 0 in the denominator. And in this case, we do not get a 0 in the denominator, so we're OK. This concludes part 1 of the video. Now, watch part 2.